Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the modified lip files by a person named Yuseps which are claimed to be from Sino Gem Mode 7 and these lips actually make you able to play games like GTA 3, Temporum, Brave and all that you'll see for yourself at the end of this video Now anyways, to set it up, first you need again on your Windows PC or on your phone an archive program which you're able to extract a zip file so you can download the CM7 lips from the link in the video description Next you would need Chainfire 3D along with the plugins you should be familiar with how to install Chainfire 3D um, at least 99% of you if you haven't I have also included a guide in the link in the video description and lastly what you would need is you would need a root browsing tool so that we can move the files and everything so yeah and and, and also before we begin now I would really recommend that you make an Android backup or something like that just to be on the safe side in case something wrong happens and so once you're ready and you have <clears throat> and you have downloaded all the needed files to your SD card on your phone we will begin installing the lib files and ok so to begin we will install the Chainfire 3D driver so uh, download and install Chainfire 3D and run it now if you already have it installed um, and you already have the driver installed you can just go to CFD3 driver and you can choose to uninstall your phone will reboot and once you come back here you are able to install it and this time we are not just going to choose install we are going to choose to enable this this option here never mind the warning just choose ok and finally choose install again choose install and wait for the driver to be installed your phone will now reboot as usual just wait for it to start back up and we'll continue now with the second step which is using the root browsing tool to move the uh, system files now after the phone boots up, the next step is to move the, the files using a root browsing tool so in my case I'm going to use root browser you just find it here uh, root explorer sorry I meant root explorer so open up your root browsing tool whichever you prefer and uh, go to your SD card wherever you have extracted the CM7 lib files so go to that folder there we go here they are go to system lib this is how I'm going to do it by the way I suggest you just do it the same if you're not experienced with this so once you see the EGL folder here won't press on it you should see the copy option choose to copy it now go back uh, go back to exit of your SD card and go to root directory like this and now go to system then go to lib and now you see EGL here, now this is where we need to press the paste button but before everything we need to make sure that we mount the the file system to be read and write like this and now we are able to paste it so choose paste choose yes and you can now change it to read only go back and once again after this you need to reboot your phone for changes to apply so power it off then turn it back on and so after my phone boots up now I'm going to demonstrate you how Tempo Run Brave will run without any black screen without any graphics mess up the only problem the game seems to have is the touch screen doesn't seem to work other than that the sensor works like I can move the character but I cannot swipe it just doesn't seem to work for some reason so that's another reason why you still shouldn't buy the game from the Play Store even though it is compatible it seems to have some kind of problems and that's not only in our phone a lot of people seem to be complaining that it has problems so I would just suggest that you wait for a for a proper bug fix to be released hope it will be soon and ok once your phone has booted up completely next thing we need to make sure is that we have enabled the Chainfire 3D settings so go here and be sure to go to default to open geo settings and enable the reduce texture quality reduce texture size and just use Qualcomm for the plugin go back or just minimize Chainfire 3D with the home button and start up your desired app so let's give it a try with the Tempo and Brave as I said I cannot uh, show you Grand Theft Auto 3 so you can just try it out for yourself because you need to download additional data now and um, I really can't be bothered so so sorry for that I'm just gonna demonstrate you Tempo and Brave and here we have it the performance is really not that bad but like I said the touch screen doesn't seem to work which is very bad unfortunately so yeah you can't really play this game but at least 
this shows that these zip files help and they can run such games so yeah if you have other games that have similar problems you i might i, I would recommend that you test on them and maybe they will run so yeah also please make sure that you mention them in the comment field for others to know because as you know this device is not really capable of playing much games so it would, be a, it, would, it would be a great help if you comment on the video with which games work thanks to these lib files. Anyways, let's just show you the problems. As you can see, the performance is really not that bad. Um, the sensor works, but swiping doesn't seem to work. No matter what you do, it just doesn't work. As you can see I can move left to right, but when, no matter how much you swipe, it just doesn't work. I don't know the problem with that. So yeah, that's how you need to do to get games like these running. So huge thanks to the person who released those slip files, and like I said, please mention any games names in the comment field if you, if you manage to get them run thanks to these slip files. Thank you for watching, hope this was of help, and subscribe if you liked. Goodbye.